it'll be a while before anybody's excited about anybody fighting John Jones. Because yeah. it's like, <laughs> what do you got? There's certain guys, like, remember when Anderson was in his prime? And like, like what are you gonna, who are you going to throw at him? There was nobody there. Until Weidman came along, everybody that they threw at him, you're like, hmm, what's Anderson going to do to this dude? And I think that we're in that situation now with John. He's not going to do something wild and crazy like he did a few years ago, relying on his explosiveness and his funky angles. Guys have tape on him now. They know what he does. Tiago Santos comes to mind as a top contender for John Jones. I love the Tiago Santos fight. I love that fight. I would love to see him versus John Jones. That's the fight to make. I mean, he's active now, right? John Jones got momentum now. Long ass fucking career as champion, as the best ever. Correct. He's, he's on a run right now. That's what I think. I think they took it away from him for all those months when he tested positive, that long suspension, all that time off, all money that he should have made, all the legacy that he could have laid down. And now I think, I think he's just fucking chasing it. I'm all about it. Tiago can shut anyone's lights out. He knows he can shut anyone's lights out. Oh, he gets caught back. That's it. Oh. He did stop Jimmy Namarawa. Oh. Oh. That's it. That's it. Jimmy Namarawa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He stopped several guys at light heavyweight. He looks spectacular at light heavyweight. Is he grounded back from Sancho? There's the horn. He stopped Anthony Smith in their last fight at middleweight. Oh, Santos, all right, look out. That shut him down. It's Santos. That's look out of the finish. Carter giving him every chance, but that will do it. Tiago Barreto Santos. Is he going to be able to connect? That's what makes it interesting. Oh, that goes crazy. He's out. The block on knockout for Tiago Santos. Jones has some of the best defense. The best. Both wrestling, grappling, yeah. and striking. Just doesn't get hit. He's not light on his feet. He's just right there in front of you, like an unmovable force, you know, mm -hmm. and he's just going to stand right there in front of you. He's not going to go back or nothing. It's just... And if he catches you catching a break, you try to take a breath, breath of air, whap, whap, yeah. whap, whap, yeah. whap, starts pouring it on you. Oh. Starts kicking your legs, front kicking you in the body, over and over and over. He sees you slowing down. He's a predator, man. I think this is an interesting fight. John Jones should be the strong favorite. He should be a giant favorite, but it doesn't mean it's not gonna be interesting because this dude's style, because he's so fucking wild. Oh, a spinning heel kick, and it connects! Marshman in trouble, and they're gonna stop it! He's big, he's big, a big dude. Big. But the fucking power that that guy has, nice. and he just swings, man, he swings wild. That's it, it's all over! Tiago Santos, by knockout! Tiago Santos has tattooed a hammer on his chest for a reason. Our fight is over. Tiago Santos. Wow. Now John is not going to fight him the way Manuel fought. Yeah, I can't touch him. You know John is going to keep him on the outside with those kicks. And take he decides to he clinch him. He'll clinch him, wrestle him, take him down. John's ground and pound is horrific. His top game is off the charts. Submissions are great. Yeah. John Jones remains the UFC light heavyweight. Wow. Submissions, everything. Striking is better. Elbows are from hell. Brutal elbow. Big elbows. I'm trying to finish this fight. Shoulders badly hurt by John Jones. They're coming one after the other, after the other, after the other. And it is all over. I don't think that he would willingly wade into a firefight. But like, it could happen. But it could happen. That's how I sell fights, sir. Oh!